Hello, hello, my squidlings. It's Katie here, and I have a really quick announcement at the beginning of this video. Plus, I forgot an intro, so I figured this will substitute as one. So, if you have not pledged to my Fantastic Vampires Coloring Book Kickstarter, there will be a link on the screen. Please go check it out. It actually ends on December 1st, and we're still only 66% funded, and I'd really like to get this funded before it ends. If not, um, if I don't end up getting it funded, for those who were interested in one, I will still have them over on my store. I'll just be printing small batches, and there won't be extra rewards or anything. But if you're interested in making the Kickstarter happen and maybe even getting some extra stretch goals at last minute, please, please, please go check it out. I would really appreciate it because I need your help and um, you'd be getting some awesome rewards as well. So anyway, please check that out. And now we can get on to painting the video, painting the video. Now we can get on to painting the art and talking about character design. All right, so I'm gonna have to use a water brush. <laughs> because baby V currently is in her room and if I pass her room because her door is open she's gonna see me and she's gonna cry and that's not what I want so we're gonna just be painting with a water brush so today I'm using these three colors I may add more as I go but I'm using Daniel Smith's moon glow which is this like lovely color focus why you not focus there we go. It's like this lovely, it's a great mixing color. I'm going to be using Coors Cobalt Teal and I'm going to be using Coors Ultramarine. I want this piece to be very icy and you're going to find out why soon enough. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just mix up a little bit of Ultramarine here and then mix in some Cobalt Teal kind of like this medium-y shade. I'll water it down just a hair. Um, and then I'm going to actually just throw this in the background. Um, this background is just going to be a solid bluey color. I may add some icy textures later, but for now I just want to go ahead and throw this background in here. Um, but yeah, so this character is pretty cool. Her story, from what I can tell, is pretty simple. Um, I, I don't know a lot about her, but the thing I do know and the thing I decided to illustrate was the fact that this girl thinks that she is the most beautiful of all. She got that evil queen vibe. She's like mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest and iciest of them all. So she's the daughter of king, I say king, I don't know why I said king, uh, of one of the gods, uh, he's the god of the north wind, his name is Boreas, I believe he's a Greek god, and one thing I think is uh, cool is she is actually a demigoddess, so she's not technically um, a full-on goddess, she is the daughter of Boreas the god and a human mother who I cannot think of the name of right now, uh, or I actually don't know of, I don't know, but anywho, so yeah, but anyway, she somehow ascends to goddesshood, and people are, or people, <laughs> the gods are like, yo, that's cool, but then she decides she's the most beautiful one of all, and Artemis is not having that, so, uh, Artemis comes and kills her, and that's it. <laughs> That's pretty much the abridged version, but so what I wanted to illustrate today was the fact that she's looking at herself in a mirror, thinking she's the most beautiful, but she's also clutching that uh, arrow in her chest, and her tears and the blood will be like ice because I want her to be like a cold person, um, and yeah, and, and that's kind of why I wanted to illustrate this and this goes along with my patreon theme of it's technically mythological creatures but i thought it would be more fun to do gods and goddesses or just goddesses because i'm not doing gods so i'm excited about this however uh, i do want to let you know that i will also be talking about what the title of the video is today and that is coming up with character de design <laughs> that is coming up with character design specifically struggling with it and uh, me specifically I do struggle a lot with character design I'm gonna plop in some like oh, look how pretty that is I'm just gonna like plop in some little icy ploops because I want this background to have a little bit of texture but yeah I struggle a lot with character design and we'll be getting into that a little bit more um but <laughs> 
You may notice this in some of my art that um, most of the time the characters aren't super fleshed out or um, I don't add a ton of detail and I want to kind of go over why I think that is like for me personally. Um, it is a personal goal of mine to kind of work it out and uh, do a little better with that. I'm going to make these kind of like little stars almost. Actually not stars. I'm just going to kind of do a few lines and have them just bleed out. But yeah, we're going to be talking about just character design today, really. So uh, I'm going to come back after this is dry and we're going to continue on with the topic. All right, now that the background, background is dry, I'm going to go in with this cobalt teal and I'm going to make it light, like really light. I need a lot of water. And I'm just going to paint in a base layer here for her skin tone because I want her skin tone to be like a lightish blue. Um, I'm going to be shading this, so like this is not the final color, but yeah. I'm also just going to go right over those tears just because they're also going to stay pretty light. Uh, they're going to be lighter than the skin, but um, I think this actually might just be their final color because they're going to be little icy tears. So now to talk about what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I've already mentioned it. Um, so character design. For me, character design is actually pretty difficult and I, and I really don't know <laughs> why. Uh, for some reason I struggle with um, adding details into a character. Now when I planned this particular piece I actually spent a little bit more time um, thinking about um, the background of the character and um, like working, like I researched her a little bit and she definitely has a few different iterations to her story. Some of them were not stories that I cared to retell. Um, and they're very, um, they could be triggering to certain people and that's something I definitely didn't want to do. Um, so that is why I didn't. If you want to look it up, do so at your own discretion. Again, it can be very triggering. So just a, a warning. Anyway, um, but other iterations of her story, like the one I just told you, are, you know, she got <laughs> she got dead because she thought she was the prettiest lady in the land. And I just, uh, I kind of thought that was funny, but I really liked the idea for a character concept. So whenever I decided to start working on this character, I was like, okay, I really want to incorporate bits of her story. I actually want to incorporate a little bit more than I normally do instead of just making like a pretty character. I wanted to, um, like I said, incorporate bits of her story. And so I did Artemis's arrow because she got shot. However, she is not dead <laughs> in this picture anyway. Um, and then I have her looking at herself in a mirror because she's obsessed with herself. Um, and that was pretty much it. I'm sure there are a ton of other things I could have added. I also made her naked because for some reason I feel like a naked character, like in my opinion, is like, I don't know how to explain it. Like they know their sexuality. They know that they're a sexy character because they're comfortable showing that. Um, that again, that's just the way I interpret it. And so that's the reason she ain't got no clothes on. So that's kind of, again, my reasoning. And uh, had I done this piece a long time ago, I don't think it would have been this elaborate. And that's not to say that this is entirely elaborate anyway. Um, I'm sure there are a hundred better ways to do this. And I'm sure there's actually better art out there. I, I didn't research that, but I'm sure there are others who have done art of Keone and have done an amazing job. All right, so now I'm gonna darken up her hair. I want her hair to be pretty dark. So I mix the Moon Glow with the Ultramarine. Anyway, so my big thing is I struggle with adding details that make the character seem more like the character, if that makes sense. Um, for instance, I, had I not actually thought about it, I would have just drawn a really icy looking girl. But since I actually looked more into the lore behind her, um, I added the arrow and the mirror and stuff and 
So I think that's something I've really been trying to add more into my artwork. I've been trying to add more, not meaning per se, but just basically trying to make it more like the character. Like if this character were to exist, um, what would they wear or what would they be doing or whatever, you know. But that's another reason why I selected a mostly cool, actually it's all cool palette. Uh, because again, she is the daughter of the god of the north wind. So, you know, that's typically pretty cold. Um, and she, I, I would imagine like if, since I'm painting her, I guess I kind of have the right to imagine this, but she's, uh, not very happy. I, I would imagine she's got like a cold personality, um, because she's so self-absorbed and, uh, she, I, she basically tried to steal some dudes from Artemis. I actually think she tried to like bang his, her, bang her brother or something. But, um, anyway, I, I personally think she would have like a cold personality. So that's another reason why I chose this color palette. And I, I think my main thing right now is trying to be more meaningful with my art. And, ooh, I almost dropped the paintbrush on the skin. That would not have been good. Anyway, I'm trying to be more, more meaningful and more deliberate with what I'm adding to my characters. So yeah, so that's, that's my big thing um, right now. But I feel like typically I do really struggle with character design and uh, I really have a hard time with it. And I feel like whenever I look on social media um, at some of my favorite artists, I feel like they're so good at being really deliberate on what they add and it's super meaningful or um, it just makes sense for whatever character they're drawing. And, and I want that in my art. And I think that's, um, that's the struggle I've been having. So that's why I'm trying to be a lot more, you know, like I said, deliberate in what I'm working on. But yeah, that's that's probably one of my biggest goals for my character art right now is just to uh, make stronger character designs um, and make them make sense, if you will. But yeah, um, I really like this. I love this color. Like, it's like a really pretty indigo. I love Moon Glow. Moon Glow, like, if you could get one very expensive paint... <laughs> Get Moon Glow. It's so versatile. You can make it with all your other paints and it's just absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's, that's my thing with character design. So, uh, at me right now, the Katie of today, um, I have a couple tips for you. They may or may not be useful considering I'm still certainly learning and I've definitely got a long way to go before I'm super happy with my character designs, but I do have a few tips for you. Um, from this point of view. Also, I'm not sure what color I should make her lips. I kind of want to make them ultramarine and I also kind of want to make them this hair color. I don't know yet. I might make it like a little bit more ultramarine. Well, I guess we're going in for it. Whatever color this ends up being, we're going in for it. <laughs> and then I could lighten it up for the bottom lip. Ooh, that is way too much water. Also, I realized this <laughs> reflection is not 100% perfect. Um, I'm not honestly too concerned about it. It's, it's close enough. You get the gist of what I'm going for here, right? And I actually am pretty proud of this character design anyway. Like, I really liked the lore behind the character, but I also really just liked trying to bring her to life. Uh, in what I imagine. And that's kind of the big basis of character design when you're doing it. It's like, it's your interpretation. So um, that's another reason why I didn't go off on the internet looking for inspiration. I wanted to because I do actually, I feel like I benefit a lot from inspiration. But I decided not to because I didn't want to be influenced at all in my character depiction of her. So um, now maybe after this video, I might go look up some stuff and see what other people might have done. But for the time being, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> just because I don't, I don't want to be influenced. All right, let's let some of these bits dry and then, oh, oh shoot. I'm just not realizing I missed a little bit.
All right, now I'm gonna let these bits dry and then we're gonna come back and I'm, I need to figure out the rest of the color scheme anyway, but we're gonna color the skin and all the other bits. All right, so I'm gonna do like some little lines here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lighten them up a bit. I don't want this to be insanely crazy dark. All right, and then I think I'm gonna take this original mix, so you can't even see what I'm mixing, that I had for the background, um, and I'm going to add it to this little pool of cobalt teal I have over here, because I want her skin to be a little darker, and I think I'm gonna add a touch of moon glow, actually, I might take from here. Uh, I want it to be darker, but I also don't want it to be like too overpowering. <laughs> These look very similar, but I promise they're not. Uh, and then I'm going to start shading the skin. All right, so let's talk about those tips that I personally have for character design, but they may, like, it may not be a one-size-fits-all kind of thing, so just keep that in mind. First thing I have for character design is, uh, think about your subject. Be, put yourself in your character or subject's shoes. So, for instance, with Kione, I researched her background. And then I kind of put in like ideas. I wrote them down on my iPad, but you can honestly write them down wherever you want. Um, but anyway, so I, I thought of things that worked. So for instance, um, the whole th like fight with Artemis, she gets shot by an arrow. So I wanted to include the arrow. Um, again, I feel like she's a super narcissistic person who thinks they're the most beautiful beauty queen that there has ever been to have existed. So I wanted to go with an icier color palette, plus it works into her heritage, so that works too. Um, and then I think about what they would do. So like, for instance, she's super narcissistic and she likes herself a lot, so I wanted her to be looking in a mirror. Um, so those are some things that you can think about. Um, clothing choices would also be good here. That's why I made her naked. <laughs> uh, because, uh, I feel like she would just not feel the need to wear clothes. She's beauty queen and she wants everybody to see what she's got. And I feel like that's what she would do. Um, now if you did the exact same character, you may do something different. One of the other thoughts I had, um, for her clothing was I was initially going to put her in some kind of like fur coat or fur dress, like fur line dress. Um, and I think that would have worked too. Honestly, I think that would have also looked good. So it really just depends on the feeling, I guess you're trying to evoke here. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit of the clothing choice was kind of laziness because <laughs> I didn't feel like changing my sketch again. But you know, I mean, it it all depends on what you're going for as well. And uh, I'm just doing various shades of blue, like I already mentioned, because I want her to feel cold and icy. Um, and she's crying tears of ice because of that same exact reason. So um, you really want to put yourself in the character's shoes. At least that's what I've been doing. Um, and that's been working so far. But yeah, um, uh, then you can also, instead of putting yourself in their shoes, you could also just add things that are part of their story or something of that nature. So, like, for instance, she, um, the, the, the arrow thing, that's a pretty big important part <laughs> of her story is that she, she gets dead. So, uh, and I wanted to add that, but I added it even though she's not technically dead in this piece. I added it because I think it kind of, in my opinion, it shows who she is as a person. Like she's <laughs> like right before she dies or whatever, she's taking that one last glimpse at herself instead of anything else like her dad or her mom um, or just anyone she cares about really. So that's that was another take on that. Um, so yeah, I... Again, maybe the Katie of the future will feel a little bit differently on <laughs> how she approaches character design, but that's my one big goal for this year and for 2021 is to just get better at character design because I do draw a lot of characters and I feel sometimes that they 
I, I'm not putting a lot of thought into them, and I want to put more thought into them. All right, now to add a few other touches. I'm going to have to shade her mirror self in just a second, but I think its skin is looking pretty good, honestly. This is kind of the color I was going for. I just wanted it to be light, but also shaded. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and shade her mirror self pretty much the exact same way. Honestly, it's been really fun just kind of talking about stuff like this. I uh, I might do this more in the future. If you have any topics you'd like me to touch on that you feel like I'm qualified to talk about, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like maybe it's just like the imposter syndrome talking, but I feel like I'm not qualified to talk about a lot of this stuff. I just feel like I'm not good enough or I'm not... Um, I don't know, experience enough. I really, I really don't know how to explain it, but that's just, that's just how I feel. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's why I don't really do tutorials anymore because I just feel like I'm not great at them. And I feel like you would learn a lot more from someone else who actually knows what they're talking about because I don't know if you've been here for any amount of time, but we here on the Squid channel, the Katie Did Art channel, uh, we wing everything. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I, I actually find it to be pretty fun to wing stuff, but sometimes it makes it hard to explain what I'm doing because instead of, oh, do this and put this here, I'm just like, just wing it. Just do what you want to do. All right, so I'm going to make a mix of that ultramarine and this moon glow again. Oh, gosh, I love this moon glow. But I meant good. Blah, 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 blah. Words. Kids and friends, they're hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit and I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. Actually, it may not even darken that much, to be honest. I'm just gonna darken up slight bits where I feel like it should be just a little darker. And honestly, I may even just go in with the straight moon glow. I don't know yet. Honestly, I think that might be the way to do it. But I don't want to go super crazy with this because it can be really overpowering really quickly. And I'm also like looking in my viewfinder to make sure I'm not doing too much. Do a little bit right here. And it, this is just kind of like me guesstimating. So if you're using this as any kind of tutorial, um, just just do the best you can. Just put the things where you think there should be a darker line or, um, you know, more color wherever. That's literally what I do. I'm just like, oh, this needs to be a little darker. And then there we go. But this is a really fun piece to work on. I'm actually really glad that I decided to go with this character and to work on this character design. And I actually have another video over on Patreon where I am drawing Scotty. She is a, a giantess goddess. And honestly, I think she's super cool as well. So I'm, I'm really happy to have drawn her. Um, I'm going to darken up the tops of these eyes. Just a tad. But yeah, I hope my little chat about character design helped you. Um, again, I don't, I feel like I'm not qualified to talk about this stuff. So, you know, um, any bit that helps you though is amazing. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to have helped in any way, shape or form. And I'm just now realizing that I did not uh, add any shading to behind her tears because I wanted them to be a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna just go right behind them here. And then I'm also gonna add like a little bit of white gel pen to them just to make them pop just a little more. And the same goes for the ones on her chest. Actually, these ones stand out the most, I think. All right. I think 
I think I'm gonna call this one done outside of adding those last white highlights because that's really what ties the piece together. So uh, yeah, let me let this dry and then we'll get to that. All right, so here is the piece. I ended up darkening her skin in the background just a little bit uh, because I was feeling like it was getting a little too blendy with the tears and I wanted those to be pretty obvious. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this white Posca just on a few different places here namely her lips and I'm just gonna kind of like smudge it out because I don't want it to be ultra bright. One place I do want it to be ultra bright though are these teeth. I'm gonna have to go back over these teeth so I'm gonna wipe them out. Um, and then I like doing a little tip of the nose here. And I have to keep in mind it's a mirror image so I gotta basically do the same thing to each one. Why is my camera so bright right now? I feel like the white gel pen just makes everything pop. And that's why I use it. So when I say gel pen, I, this is not a gel pen, this is a Posca pen. Which I feel is a little bit different. I'm pretty sure it's acrylic and not gel. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we're going to do under this little collarbone here. I'm also going to do just like the corners of the mouth and kind of dab that a little bit. Uh, the chin and smear that out. Um, another thing I always like to do is like the edge here of the face. I really feel like, again, that makes the it pop <laughs> and do some really quick like hair shading and I'm just gonna smudge it out because I really don't want it to be ultra prominent and then I'm going to um, just add a few strokes here to the feather I like the arrow feather just to make it stand out a little bit something I want to do but I'm actually really nervous about doing is adding like cracks to the face and I might do that with a really skinny gel pen just in case I don't like it I can just go over it with water um but I want to kind of make it have more of like an ice effect if you will and so I want to see that's not showing up super well so that's where the Posca would come in at well I guess we can just hope we don't ruin it I'm not gonna go super crazy with it I think I'm just gonna do some of the little edge points and then call it done for that because I kind of want it to feel more icicly, but I also don't want it to be like super crazy. Um, another thing I didn't do that I probably should have is color in her mouth, like the this bottom part here. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about it. And then I, I kind of would like to add some cracks to the background, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And then to make this mirror obvious, it's a mirror, I'm also going to do a couple of lines through it just to show the reflection. And then I think I'm gonna call this done. All right, so baby V ended up waking up, but here's a look, or I say waking up, she was awake the whole time. Here is a look at the final piece. I actually really like how this came out. I think it looks really good. And I hope you like it, and patrons, you'll be getting a print of this this month, so look forward to that. I hope some of my character design tips helped. Again, they're just what helped me. Um, I hope you all are having a squidoodly awesome day, and until the next video, toodaloo!